Speaker recognizes Representative Tlaib. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For many, minimum wage is a standard. For many, many women, it's an issue for their quality of life. It impacts women the most in Michigan. Studies show that a total cost to American taxpayers of a large, low-wage workforce comes to an average of $7 billion a year. That's the amount of annual public assistance families of fast food workers received between, received between 2007 and 2011, according to a 2013 study. The report calls out the fast food industry for its low wages, citing a minim, medium salary of $8.69 an hour and a history of offering part-time work. That might have been fine when those behind the counter were mostly teenagers living at home. Today, 68% of fast food workers are single or married adults who aren't in school, and 26% are raising children. Over 52% of the families of fast food workers are enrolled in one or more public assistance programs compared to 25% of the workforce as a whole. I don't know about anybody else in this chamber, but I'm a bit tired of subsidizing these low wages. Two-thirds of minimum wage workers are women. More than three of four, out of four women earning the minimum wage are 20 or older, and most do not have a spouse to income to rely on. Women are also nearly three-quarters of workers in tipped occupations in 2013. A mother, Mr. Speaker, with two children working a full-time job at minimum wage would earn enough to pull her family out of poverty instead of falling into it more than $4,000 below poverty line if the minimum wage was 10 10 an hour, according to a number of studies. Before us is a different proposal, but I really want to thank from the bottom of my heart for all those from Ray's Michigan for all their hard work and their effort. Their ballot initiative today made this vote possible, and I want to thank them so much for their hard work. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Tlaib. Mr. Speaker, on the question of final passage of Senate Bill 934, there are 76 aye votes and 34 nay votes. The majority of the members elected to serving have voted. Therefore, the bill is passed.